So I did get um, an okay from Charles Gross to share this. But again, I don't know if I want to share the actual audio, but there it is because like I heard it with my own ears. I'm just like freaking out. You guys look. There's so much drama going on right now. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with a quick impromptu video. I was scrolling through TikTok this morning when I woke up as a person does and I stumbled upon Trisha's TikTok and she has some receipts allegedly of Shane Dawson talking junk about her. I'm going to talk about that in this video, but there is also a few things that I wanted to talk about before I get into that. Now, you guys know that James Charles has pretty much been victimized by Shane Dawson as well as Jeffree Star over the duration of the past couple of years with everything that happened with Tati, this conspiracy palette and collaboration, and all the shade that's been thrown, this, that, and the other. So it should come as no secret to anyone that James Charles would like to get his little shade in here and there when things with Jeffree and Shane are going bad, and he's done just that. James Charles Charles tweeted out and said, it's so liberating when people finally start to see what you've been seeing all along. To which someone replied to him and said, it's even more amazing when everyone collectively agrees that what we're witnessing is wrong and should no longer be tolerated or swept under the rug. James Charles replied to this and said, 100. Someone else chimed in and said, yes, James, no names needed. We know. And James Charles went on to like this. So this would definitely indicate to me that this is James Charles indicating that this is about Shane Dawson as well as Jeffree Star. Now, you guys know that this would not be a Dramageddon if Gabriel Zamora did not chime in because Gabriel is literally the catalyst for so many different Dramageddons and all the drama in the beauty community that ever really blows up, Gabriel is a part of. So Gabriel went on to say, it's all fun and games until you become personally victimized by Regina George. Now, if you know anything about Jeffrey, Jeffrey has referred to himself as the Regina George of the whole world. There's a tweet out there of him saying this. It's not really a big secret. Mean Girls is Jeffrey's thing. And it's coming out that Jeffree Star may actually be a very, very bad mean girl, like the worst version of Regina George that you could possibly imagine. So I would like to know your guys' opinions on that. But now I want to get into this whole thing with Trisha. Trisha said that she had a YouTuber named Charles Gross reach out to her and say that he had voice memos of Shane Dawson talking badly about her. And then he went on to send those to her. Now, Trisha did make a very long TikTok about this that I'm going to put in for you guys to see if you have seen this this and you would like to hear my commentary after I will put in a timestamp for you guys but I'm going to insert it here keep in mind it is four to five minutes if you would like to skip this if you've seen it there will be a timestamp on the screen so watch this you guys and I'll be back with more commentary so I did get um, an okay from Charles Gross to share this but again I don't know if I want to share the actual audio but there it is because like I heard it with my own ears I'm just like freaking out you guys look April 2017 and he's gossiping about something I told him before a Christmas party in 2016 I don't even remember it like I do remember like talking to Peter Mon this is so stupid like I just remember being like yeah like did you invite Charles but he's like the way he said it on the audio was just like yeah Trish is like ew why would you do that and he's like Trish is this all you have better to do is gossip Shane you are the biggest gossip and you're the meanest gossip yeah maybe I was like hey yeah Peter Mon said that you're inviting Charles Gross I never said anything bad about him he doesn't say that I said anything bad about him but like I'm not I'm not mean and I don't look at you gossiping like to someone you don't even know like I, I was his best best friend and I was just the stupid one. I was just the desperate one. I'm such an idiot. The audio is literally Shane in a mocking voice being me, being like, you inviting this guy? Like, as what? What? I have never said one bad thing about Shane privately, publicly, anything. I'm just like, I, I was like kind of getting myself together and like, here's just like move on. Today's a new day. But I was just like, I'm so, I'm so shocked. I'm like, I'm, I've just never been so mind blown by someone so fake. Cause I, you will not find one voice memo of me bad talking Shane or saying something that Shane said to me in private or question. Like this is like Shane's a gossip. Yeah. But I didn't know he was so mean and like conniving behind people's back. Truly, I didn't know this. Like he'd end friendships and he would like kind of tell me, but like also always just like paint himself as like a good person, like never was being like mean. This is just like nasty shit, like mocking. Like I was best friend. We did, we did the first series together. I was going through so much that year, 2017. I did the series after my breakup with Sean and he knew like in that series, I'm like going through it. Like this is months later. Like I was not mentally well this year. Like I checked in with Shane about like this is, I'm so mind blown. Like, you don't understand how bad I just like want to move forward. Like, I love making like TikToks and fun TikToks. Like, these are just so stupid. And like, I hate that they're even on my feed. I'm just like, I can't even, I can't even take it in. Like hearing, like hearing his voice, right? Like I've heard it from multiple people and like different people and like, okay. But like hearing him like mock me and say, Trish told me 
four months ago about something like, just and and for what to make Charles Gross feel like worse about I didn't say anything bad and he, he and he repeated that I didn't say anything bad it wasn't that it was just like more that I was like asking him like why he invited like Charles because like Peter Mon like didn't like him it, this was like so long ago like everything's like squashed but it's just like what was the point to make Charles feel bad to make me look bad to just shit on me for no reason to mock my voice like well I don't understand like it just it doesn't make any sense like just completely unwarranted like I know I do stuff that's like like rubs people the wrong way but I was so nice to Shane I never said anything bad about him I was always there for him like I'm so (sighs) it's like the wind has been knocked out of me but like these are voice memos he sent to people no one's like privately recording him or anything like that which I heard other people do but like these are voice memos he sent and honestly like if you share a voice memo with me about Shane like and Like, I'm sure there's more. Like, I'm not going to share them, obviously. Like, I just, it just, like, solidifies. Like, I I, I already don't feel bad. Like, I already feels like a weight has been lifted off me. Like, I don't have any remorse about this friendship because, like, I did nothing to warrant this. Like, this is the first time ever in my life, in my career on YouTube that I didn't warrant this kind of response, rebuttal, attack. Like, it's not even a response. It was just, like, this weird attack for no reason. And it just, like, it just, I don't know. I guess just, like, hearing it is just, like, yeah, this person is a bad bad person like this is the one person i thought never talked bad about me that never like gossiped like this is this is insane yeah i'm like processing all this like it's just this week has been hard anyways because it's like it's just it literally feels like i just didn't know this person peter mon's video he said he called me a sociopath and i'm just like so just to touch on that like peter mom made a video talking about like when he met up with shane in vegas and this was like around like i don't know 2018 and um i like and i guess he said that like trisha said she'd meet up with me or something in vegas and to which shane said to that oh yeah trisha said she'd meet up with me in vegas that's what peter told shane shane's response to that was trisha's a pathological liar like what what is the point it's not like i said you know shane's this or made up rumors about someone i said oh i would love to meet up with you to which shane's response is trisha's a pathological liar Peter Mon also goes on to say that he says that Tana is a sociopath, Jake Paul's a sociopath, and then I'm a sociopath. Oh my God. Shane, you're not a psychologist. Not everyone's a sociopath. <laughs> oh my God. You give this guy a series of fake therapists and an ego, and all of a sudden he just knows everything about psychology and he can diagnose anyone as a sociopath. Like, what? Make it make sense. And he said Andrew and Garrett, and they were there, like, laughing in Ryland. Like, why? Why did I warrant that? Why did I warrant my best friend called me a pathological liar and a sociopath? What? And again, to reiterate, this isn't Shane saying this in defense of himself. Well, Trish is a pathological liar. It's not like I made up a rumor about Shane and he's like, well, Trish is a pathological liar. Like, he just said this because I said I wanted to meet up with Peter, which I did meet up with him and do a video in my apartment. Okay? So He just said I'm a sociopath for no reason. Like, he just met this guy, Peter Mon, for the first time and he knew me nine years at that point. And just decided to randomly say Trisha's is a sociopath? I don't, like, this is, like, even him telling Charles Gross all this, like, what is the, what is the point? I mean, clearly he had some issue with me or some issues himself. If he's telling Gabby, Hannah, I have herpes, which I'm going to show next week on my podcast, like, my results. Like, I don't, but it's like, why? Why are you just making this stuff up? Why are you just saying this? What is the point, though? Like, what is the point? To humiliate me? To make me look stupid? To paint your own narrative of me like to look make me look like a clown for being friends with you so that was a lot to take in right i have heard this for a very long time because obviously at that point in time i was really good friends with peter when he went to las vegas and met shane and he told me all of this and i was just kind of taken aback by it but there's no way for me to validate that but i don't really believe that peter would have lied in that situation there's no reason for him to lie but this just screams what kind of person shane dawson is if he will say things like this about his alleged best 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 friend ever what is he saying about everybody else in his life and it seems like he has more in common with jeffree star than we ever originally planned and for him to make these different videos about jake paul tana and all of this it seems like he's just having a big pig party for himself when in reality he probably needs to work on himself a little bit more than what he says he is or whatever because he just seems like an awful person. Like everything that was said about him before and all the videos that came out about him and his old content was gross to begin with. But this just solidifies in my heart that I think that Shane Dawson is just a nasty, awful, horrible person. And he's going to have to address this because if he does not address this and he tries to come back, people are going to bring it up. I'm wondering if it's going to be a repeat of what happened with James Charles, where he tweeted out this whole mess about James Charles, and then he had to make this apology video, and then that flew in his face. I just think it's going to be another situation like that. 
that. But with all that said, you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I'm sure that there will be more that will come out. I really hope that Trisha will end up sharing these voice memos because I think that that would be very telling to everyone in this situation. But I hope you all have the most amazing day ever, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.